Being on a boat has made me realize a couple things. One, always make sure the boat has paddles before taking off. Two, if the boat did happen to have paddles, lie about the fact that you threw them out in order to decrease the weight. Thankfully, this seems like it'll be a pretty smooth ride to wherever I'm going. All right, everybody, welcome back to Undertale Yellow. In today's episode, we are exploring the Wild East. Uh, we're kind of being held hostage here by North Star. But let's take a little while to explore around the town. Oh yeah. Small job sitting on that stool. I have a feeling you'll be talk of the town. We're gonna have so much fun training together. Heh <laughs> Anyway, see you later. So is this like the the hospital area? Welcome to the Wild East Clinic. We put the hospital at hospitality. They call me the doc. Are you sick? Hurt? What is your diagnosis? Uh, I'm feeling a little hurt. Yes, of course. We have a tough one. I have just the boost you need. For an upfront price of 30G, I can overcharge your health. It is an experimental medicine, but who said I was qualified? Oh, what do you say? Hmm, how much is an overcharge? I'm gonna say we make the deal. Go closer and I'll begin the procedure. Hmm, I see. A little bit of this, and done! You gain plus 15 extra health. That's pretty worth it. When the energy wears off, it's gone for good. You can always visit me again for more, but only one at a time. I might take risk, but I'm not crazy, haha. <laughs> Ahem. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't bother the people who are sleeping in the beds. This town is quite the spectacle, is it not? Aha, <laughs> I would bury myself in the sand if I could. Yep, yep. Alright, kid. Sorry for being so forceful earlier. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. This old town snuck up on us, that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. Oh, so have they only recently created the Wild East? Is the vibe that I'm getting, and they're just now setting up the sheriff. There's a big hole in the floor. A couch not unfit for a thrift store. These cramped living conditions are bringing back unpleasant memories. Wait, what? Is that our own character's backstory? Have they live in cramped conditions? That's... Huh. You turn the TV on. This is your favorite channel. It's just static. A few videotapes with custom labels stuck on them. My favorite movie. My second favorite movie. Don't watch this one, zero out of ten. You push the hammock. It's sway is hypnotizing. I love hammocks. Hammocks are great. Especially on like good sunny days. Hammocks are a vibe. A surprisingly clean kitchen. Impressive. You press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by the memory foam. So soft. A firm sleeping bag that sits in the corner, threatening to restrict free sleepers. Oh, so there's someone sleeping on a bed, and maybe a couch and a sleeping bag? Oh, it looks like this is the way that we came in, but it's all barbed wired or just roped off right now, so we can't leave the town. Hey, I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's a fun card game set up in the stable. My friend runs it while I oversee the... profits. You should try it out. Card game, you say? Greetings. May I interest you in a game of Six Shooter? It is a simple card game of the matching variety. It costs 3G to play with a potential of profit. Intrigued? Sure, I'm always down to play a game. I will explain its rules, so, lift, so listen carefully. A stack of 36 cards will be split into 20, then laid on the table separately. There are six card types, each with a different familiar face. You must match cards of the same face, but only if they are touching. Once two cards are matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the reserve 16 card deck will replace them. Your goal is to empty the table by matching every card. If you win in under 45 seconds, you will be rewarded 25 gold. Under a minute, you will be rewarded with 15. Any time after that will allow you to break even with 3G. If the deck is empty and there are no possible matches left, you will lose with no reward. Do you understand? I think so? It's probably easier to just understand by doing. Let us play. Two. One. Go. Oh, okay, we gotta memorize them. Uh, take this one and this one. It's those match. And maybe this one and this one, because those match. Oh, so it's all about moving them carefully, and I definitely did not really just do that. 
Does this and this count as touching? They do. Okay. So let me do this and this. And then we can keep the cards nice and neat. I think we want to end, like, with all the cards pretty close to each other. So I'm going to work from the top and have them, like, filter down. It doesn't hurt to get some of the ones at the end, too. Um, I think this is the only move I can make. And then I can make this move. And then do this. And then, ah, oh, I'm, like, one off. Ah, so close. Shame. Would you be willing to play again? Sure, I'm going to play this again. Okay, I think I needed to do a little bit more thinking ahead by kind of leaving cards towards the very end and then, like, getting the stragglers. So let's, let's try working from the start this time because working towards the end didn't help out so much. Like, as long as I can keep the cards... In pairs of doubles, then I should be fine. And then, okay, I think I'm gonna win this one for sure. What? It was any time over a minute. I got no. It was okay. I got 15G, so I made my money back. An honest effort. Would you like to play again? No, I, th I think I'll do the rest of that off screen. But it seems like it's better to work from the bottom rather than trying to work from the top. And then just try and leave as many double pairs as you can until the very end. Watch up! Um, about Martlet, I totally get why you'd be upset, but I can explain, I think. See, if she is a royal guard, that would cause problems. She threatened to report Star to King Ashgore. One thing leads to another and the Wild East is in flames. Well, maybe. I'm sure Ashgore would understand, but there are others. The head of the Royal Guard, particularly. Hopefully you didn't have a run-in with her. I mean, I've never met her, but I've just heard we look alike. Is she talking about Undyne? Uh, Undyne would definitely come down on this place with a thousand spears, so... I understand them not wanting to get reported. But, is... Are they afraid of the fact that because they're a new town, they wouldn't be allowed... Oh, it's Martlet. Clover! I knew I could count on you. So, getting me out of here. Any luck? Uh, soon. Let's hope. Thanks for being positive. This is super ridiculous. Anyway. That Sheriff North Star, was it? What a jerk. I tried to fight for you. I really did. His hooligans were too strong and tossed me in here. I, knowing that, I don't think force will do much good. There's gotta be a level-headed monster around here. One's, one that knows this is unjust and will free me. When that time comes, I'll... I'll... Who am I kidding? I couldn't press charges or anything. I talk big, but we're cornered. Asgore or another guard finding out about you would be the end. <sighs> well, Northstar seems pretty enthusiastic about all this. Maybe by playing along, we can gain his favor and set me free. I don't know. Just play it cool for now. I'll be here. Uh, what a day. You gotta get me out of here, kid. I have a family, hopes, dreams, TV programs I've missed. I didn't want to do nothing bad, I swear. Sounds like he did it. Uh, I know I didn't talk to everybody in the saloon, so let's do that. Is this guy a gingerbread man, but like a semi-opaque one? What a lovely box. Oh. Oh, we're talking to the guy. What a lonely... Oh, is this like a cardboard cut? Oh, no, that's a person. The saloon isn't always this crowded. It's happy hour, you see? half price drinks. But you don't know that, so they'll continue to sell you full price drinks. What do you want? Uh, what's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. My life's a wreck. Wasted, woeful, washed up. I was supposed to make it big. I was gonna be a big time producer. You know, show business. I couldn't tell you where it went wrong. I studied hard, I graduated middle school, what else do you need? Stuck my way into a gig booking at a joint in Hotland with potential in my eyes. One day, this robot fella rolled up to me and asked if I ever produced an artist. Now, I'm a great, now, I'm a great producer. Make many hot beats on my computer every weekend. I had the talent, but I lacked the vision. I told that one-wheel television they couldn't make it in the industry. 
What an idiot I was. They soon garnered a following and I totally exploded. Not literally, maybe. Look, kid, I'll tell you this. Sometimes it's like we don't control our lives. But he has a cruel way of teaching us lessons. Have a little foresight and try not to grow arrogant like I did. Don't you forget that. Ah, so that's an obvious Metaton reference of being a one wheel television. North Star is the coolest! One time, a construction team was demolishing a building in a new home. New home? But, oh, uh, uh, an infant was in the way of the building as it came crashing down. Suddenly, North Star appeared and wound his lasso up. He wrangled that skyscraper without breaking a sweat. Yeehaw, yeehaw! For saving its life, the building gave North Star one million G. True story, true story. Wait, did he save a building from a kid? Or did he save the kid from the... Sounds like he saved the building. I'll come right out and say it. Yes, I am a finger. I came free with the last shipment of bottles. Several monsters are enjoying a nice, fair game of poker. How do I keep losing? Oh, you have your own menu. Howdy, howdy, human. Take a gander at my wares. Hard-hitting stuff is off limits. Uh, adult soda? <sighs> we can't buy it. We do have 80 G, though. And ice water is pretty good. And a feisty slider is way more than we'll ever need. I'm gonna buy some ice waters. I think three ice waters will probably do it. We do have 15 extra health from, uh, doing some illicit medicine. Oh wait, we should talk. Wait, can I actually sell things? This is the bar, not a marketplace. Try Black Jack down the road if you want to bet. Okay, we can't sell things. Uh, what about this town? Oh, this little place? It's pretty fun around here. I hear it was established some years back when the dunes gained its name, if you get me. It should be polished on its history, but Star doesn't talk about those days. I was looking for a friendly environment to share my brewing skills, so here I am. There ain't terribly much to do in this town, but that only makes it more close-knit. Every day has been pretty predictable until you showed up. I'm eager to see what Star's planning. Uh, your snakes? Are those real snakes? <laughs> I get this question a lot. These fellas are my pets. Real reptiles, not monsters. Their names are Anne, Sammy, and Bert. The underground still houses some critters from the surface like birds and insects. I found these west of here, hiding in crevices of sorts. Some monsters think keeping pets is strange, but I think it's cute. They give me someone to talk to when business is slow. Uh, what about North Star? What a character. Our big and courageous sheriff. I get a feeling he ain't as tough as he likes to play up. But then again, maybe he's just clumsy. His whole posse is a hoot. They frequently host parties here. He definitely knows the right kind of monsters to surround himself with. Not to mention Saroba, his childhood friend. I get a kick out of her in Star's antics. When she brings her daughter into town, it's basically two against one, haha. <laughs> oh, Saroba has a daughter. Now I think about it, it's been a while since I saw the rascal. We really need to get the whole gang together again. That's... Huh, okay. Can I leave? You can at any time. Won't hurt my feelings. Oh, I see. Star's trying to keep you here since it's a big deal and all. That ain't right if you're wanting to go. I try not to infringe on the sheriff business, but I'll ask him about it soon. I'm sure he means well by it. Have fun out there. Alright, let's talk to Star. Are you ready to begin? Did you talk to the townsfolk? Explore every nook and cranny? You're gonna need it if you want to be good. Deputy. That's right, kid. I'm heavily considering you for my coveted sidekick position. Now, don't you get too hot and mighty just yet. To be deputy, you gotta know how to wrangle the horses. Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done around here. I wouldn't drag anyone off the road and give them a special treatment. You'll have to prove your gunslinging skills to me. That being said, let's go meet up with the others. All right, everyone, come here. What you want, boss? Ooh, are we going to begin training with Clover? Precisely, Moray. I thought we'd start with a classic game that involves pacing. 
You mean when I see you do it every night outside the house? Back and forth, whispering to yourself. What? Nah, I don't do that. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their thoughts out. Other monsters. Let him. Can anyone correctly guess what I'm hitting at? Oh, oh, I know. Yes, Mooch? A duel! Bingo! Mission 1, Dangerous Duel. No, no, this is all wrong. Oh, what's the matter? Clover doesn't look right. Look at their hat. It's tattered and practically decomposing. And that iron in their holster. What kind of pea shooter is that? Cool and Ace. I'm sure they tried their best. No, Ace has got a point. What kind of host am I if I don't spoil you with gifts? To the weapon store! Mission 1, dress to impress. <laughs> of course. Oh, Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I often borrow his wares and uh, I break or lose them. Open up, Blackjack! Don't make me use force. I'll make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. Get off my property, North Star. I told you I wouldn't even sell you a gumball. Oh, come on, partner. I don't even know what a gumball is. And those last transactions were ages ago. I'm a changed monster. You lost one of my premium revolvers last week. Roll in your sandstorm and whatnot. Look, I promise you, this is a different scenario, Jack. I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. Don't worry, Clover. He's coming. Mark it, Spidey. Of course, sir. I was just gonna ask you to sell a gun to this child. I worded that poorly. Hold on. This ain't a child, you see. I was joking. They're just a very small, but very tough monster. <sighs> I'll give you 400 gold. Well, why aren't you open with that kind patron? Come inside with me and I'll fetch the paperwork. See, I had it under control. Wait out here, Clover. That sounds like the sounds of business. Done and done. Can I get a yeehaw? Yeehaw. Right, moving along. Let's see what you got. Take this trusty six shooter as a gift from me. You got a wild revolver. Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, it ain't alive or nothing. I've met quite a few dummies who have been angry at me whenever I have destroyed them. Just saying. Guess we'll fight the dummy. Oh, I missed. It's alright, partner. Try again. Might have found a job. Give it another go. It smells like a lead and burlap. I, oh, I'm so bad at fighting. I'm used to the bar having to move over and then just slicing it in the middle. It's alright, partner. Try again. That's quite the hit. Not shooting! I'd say you're a natural. I'm impressed, kid. You definitely pass this part of the train. I gotta go tell Saroba about this. She's the big downer when it comes to you. Let's ride on. Saroba! Guess what just happened? You locked up another royal guard against their will. Hey! Feathers was a serious roadblock to all this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right doing it, I swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. What did you want to tell me? 
Oh, well, Clover just passed their first round of trading. They are quite the sharpshooter. Almost as good as me. Really? A child? Now, now, don't disrespect the kid. Clover can hold their own and then some. I know, I'm just very impressed. Oh, hey, I almost forgot about the hat. I have a spare somewhere in my house. Clover, wait here while I fetch it. Maybe while they wait, you should get to know them, Soroma. Should be fun, right? Sure. Sounds good. Be right back, partner. So you have a kid, huh? Tell me, truly. Are you into all this? Uh, yeah. That's nice. Never understood it. But if it makes monsters like Star happy, it's fine. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kind of goofy, but it's nice to see someone so passionate. However, passion can go too far. You wouldn't believe how much his parents talked to me about it. Really kind folks who own a farm up north. It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. And the corn they grow? So, oh, corn is making a reappearance. So good. They used to give my husband, Chujin, baskets full every other week. Anyway, I trailed off. Where was I? I'm back. Turns out I had one just your size and in same color. It's like destiny or something. Here. You got a nice hat. Wow. I couldn't even tell it would change if I were standing from afar. Looks great. What do you think, Saroba? It's nice. Isn't it? Well, I'd say this mission was a great success. Go on, take a break, Clover. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, so we got to learn that not only does Saroba have a kid, but her... the kid's father and her husband was Shujin, who was also Martlet's, uh, Martlet's mentor. I think a uh, thank you is in order. You just received some high-tier gifts, for free no less. I do have an eye for that sort of thing. Alright, well, thanks for doing whatever you did. Were you here before? Stick him up, partner. This is a robbery. You got 20G. Don't always get the part wrong. Missions here can be really tiring. That's why we have a designated nap time. It's a good way to recharge for future servings of justice. Now that I think about it, nap time should be after this next mission. Help you join us. Oh, we can read the news. There's something about... Can't click on any of this? There's something about Mo in the top left corner. But Monday is all about... Oh, Metaton is performing here on Monday, and on Friday we're getting the guys that were at the Honeydew Resort. And the shufflers are not wanted... And there's no reward for capturing them. That's, that's at least they're safe. All right. Well, now I have access to this guy's shop. Uh, what can we buy from? We can buy gunpowder that heals a questionable amount of stuff for 40g. Silver ammo is three attack. A fancy holder is eight defense. That's really good. And a wild revolver we cannot buy, but that's what we got though, right? For from Northstar. Okay, I got out a bunch of the stuff that we weren't using. I'm gonna sell the ice pellets. Because we're not gonna use the weapon. I think I'm also gonna sell the glass ammo. And the feather. And with that, we can now buy the fancy holster. That'll give us eight defense and maybe have another effect, but... It's kinda irritating that the last mission was postponed. It ain't like Star to overlook the dress conditions. I guess we can chalk it up to him having his plate full. I am surprised he got you such fancy upgrades. We didn't get that kind of stuff when we first joined. Alright, it seems like Saroba has left, so let's talk to... So let's talk to Star again. Howdy howdy, Clover. Ready for round two? I guess so. Swell. Seeing as the original plans were altered, we got catching up to do. Let's gather the others. Group up, everyone! Getting a bit of deja vu here. As you should, buddy. Thanks to Ace's keen eye for fashion, we took a little detour. 
Great job there. Thank you, Star. Clover looks much better now. I agree. Clover's looking like a real wrangler. For sure. That new gun is awfully shiny. I had to shake Mr. Blackjack down for it. It was a real tough, too. Put old Jack in his place, I did. You could have sent me in to get it. You know I'm the best negotiator. We might bend the rules a bit, but we ain't bandits. Hmm, totally. Let's get to the mission already. Rat you are, Ed. What other missions would it be than the one we skipped before? Get ready, Clover. Mission 2, The Dangerous Duel. It's time for us to duel. You mean, duel? That's what I said. No, you pronounced it with a U-A sound instead of a oo sound. Boss, have you been skipping cowboy grammar class? Duel? Duel? Who cares? Tomato to potato and all that. Y'all need to quit interrupting me so often. Upsets my frontiers in. Where was I? Oh yeah, it's time to, to, to participate in a carefully timed shooting competition. Booch! Provide Clover with the designated duel. Here's a BB gun for the duel. I'll uh take that six shooter off your pants now for now. Mooch, bring the gun here. That's what I was gonna do, Moray. Get off my back, will ya? All right, it's finally time to go ahead to the. Wait, what is this? What could possibly be so pressing to interrupt the mission again? You forgot the safety glasses. Gee, boss, you could have hurt Clover. Right. I take responsibility and apologize for the oversight. Bring the glasses here. I want the pair with the blue flames. Red flames clash with my uniform. Here. Now we're in business. All right, Clover. We're going to take 10 paces and turn to face each other. When you hear the draw sound, grab your gun and shoot me as fast as you can. Here we go. But we didn't discuss what the draw sound is. Oh. Aw, oh, too bad. Let's try one more time. Ooh, okay, I tried pressing X that time as soon as it said draw. And, uh, that really got him. Star! Star! Are you okay? Pretty much the opposite of that. Oh, Star, I'm so sorry. Who, who will you give your inheritance to? Not you. Heck. Clover, this was your emotional trauma test. This job ain't all swelter stones and rainbows, you understand. Y you might end up hurting somebody. You must carry that weight on your back. Hope I didn't scare you. Anyway, you pass. I'll be waiting in the saloon again when you're ready for mission three. I'm seeing good things in you, kid. Here's your iron. Also, I'll be needing those glasses. Well, I thought we had killed a man and that our pacifist route had just ended, but we seem to be good. Ah, it's the foreman. Hello! Aren't you a bit young to be hanging around here? Not to judge or anything. I'm in town visiting my little Moray. My lovely wife, Angie, is running the mines while I'm away. Not sure how efficient my boys will be without me there, though. Aw, oh, it's a risk worth taking. So you're the new kid, eh? I've heard the townsfolk raving about you and all. Not to burst your bubble, but I could totally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. I know for a fact I could win an arm wrestle with you right now. No training. If I wanted, I could snap all 13 of my fingers and get the deputy position. That upsets you, I'm not sorry. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't cross me if I were you. Who hurt you? Welcome back, partner. 
We're about halfway done with your training. They grow up so fast. Ready to continue? Yeah. Follow me. You know the drill, team. Ain't no time to be lazing around. Uh, hello? Where is everyone? Sorry about this, Clover. They should be here any sec- Star, what is happening on the west side of town? Would you care to explain? What? Is anyone in danger? Well, no, probably not. They are? By George, this must be an attack from Vengeful Virgil. Vengeful Virgil? Who is that? Saroba, come on. We drew his wanted poster last month. It's on the news board. You helped me find the thumbtacks and everything. Um. Oh, yeah. Well, you better go stop him then. What are you waiting for? That's the spirit. Let's put a stop to this, Clover. Mission three. Everyone dies, question mark? Huh. You sure you saw something troubling here? Look down. <gasps> Hey, I did not sign up for this. Get me out of here. Ed, keep it down. I need to focus. How in the heck will I solve this colossal conundrum? And just untie them. And risk being tricked into a booby trap? Touching those ropes is exactly what Virgil wants. What? This is scary, Star. I'm afraid you must choose which track the train travels on. Yeah, choose Ed. Roach, you are dead to me. Unless Star chooses you instead. That's cold. This is all too overwhelming. I can't do it. Then have Clover choose. Of course. Clover don't have no emotional attachment to y'all. Should be simple. Don't you think this is a bit much? Nah, it's easy. Choose to leave the track as is. I won't... It won't be your fault, but many monsters get hit. Choose to change the track. It'll be by your hand, but only Ed gets it. Not as much of a sacrifice. This is a, this is the trolley problem, isn't it? What did I do to deserve this? We're out of time. If only we could untie everyone. If only. You gotta choose now, Clover. Uh... We can save the others, or we can... Oh, wait. No. I mean, it's the trolley problem. Also, Ed will probably take it. He's a tank. I, I was correct. Oh, Clover, how could you? Is this about me carrying you earlier? Did I hurt you? Now, now. In defense of Clover, they just saved many lives. I guess that's true. Clover proved that they were willing to sacrifice to be a hero. Why no, well, don't you think, Saroba? There's a lot of layers to this scenario. I believe it's more gray area. Quite a noble indeed. This was a test of your judgment. I'd say you passed, buddy. I'll be in the usual spot for your final task. Uh, see you around. Hey, is someone going to untie us? I press the lever again. Maybe if I press the lever enough times, I could get multi-track drifting. Uh, were you at the... Were you at the inn? Hey, it's you again. Nice to see a face around here that's been places other than this desert. <laughs> I live around these parts, but it's not always like this. The Wild East is changing. Something is in, in the air. North Star and his gang are doing their best, I suppose. Oh, you're new. I love this place. It has a great sense of community. There's not much like it anywhere else. There's a new friend to make every time I go outside. Never too many friends for old Cooper. All right, let's get our final task. Howdy. Man, am I excited for this. Have you done everything you wanted? Got some bandits? Saved some lives? Uh, should I save? 
Hurry it on up then. I guess I'll go save with Flowey since it seems like the game wants me to do that. Yes, I am ready to go. Let's get going then. Final call. Get on over here. Are you all ready? Actually, there's something we wanted to talk about. Yeah, about the general work environment. Maybe later. Let's keep moving. So, Clover, I actually tricked you. There is no fourth mission. Well, there used to be, but we cut it out of the regiment. Anyway, you passed everything. You are now the proud deputy of this fine town. Wait, deputy? I thought this was for a normal spot on the team. Clover is too special and skilled for a normal spot. Star, this is hardly fair. Life ain't always fair in the Wild East, bucko. They pass their train like anyone else. That was training? We barely did anything. That last mission especially was awful. Calm down, will ya? We're killing my good mood. Uh, I have to run to the mines to get Clover's badge made. I was too busy with everything that had slipped my mind. You five have fun. I'll be right back. So, what do you guys want to talk about? This is just preachy. You getting this attention at all? How come you waltz in here and Star instantly makes you a deputy? We didn't get this kind of treatment. We had to go through weeks of lasso lessons. Lessons for short. For me to become part of the team, Star made me walk around with a snake in my boot for a week. It was rubber, but the rashes it gave me were unbearable. Yeah, he made me pickpocket monsters by the Oasis. Star didn't make you do that. Heh. <laughs> you know what? This ain't fair to any of us. Clover needs a challenge. We need to see if they're truly worth joining our squad. Finally, some real excitement. Feisty 4, here we go. It's time to get a feisty. Well, I have 35 health points, so hopefully this won't be so bad. Um, should we distract the big guy? He pointed at the hospital frantically. They don't notice. So here's the new deputy, eh? Then you shouldn't have a problem dodging this! Oh, okay. Okay, I get that attack. Uh, let's be steady. You hold your ground while the chaos unfolds around you. Oh, changed up. Hello, Clover. I'm very sorry about this, but I've been bored all day. Okay, these things bounce weird. Mori leads on Ed to rest up. Uh, I guess we'll maybe distracting Mori will be easier. You point at the hospital frantically. They don't notice. Good luck. Oh, I can't really book it. Ace is practicing sleight of hand. Uh, let's give him a little smirk. You smirk at the four's antics. They're trying. Quit hogging Clover! It's my time to shine. Oh, okay, more- ow, oh, more coins get introduced. Um, let's give them another steady. You hold your ground while the chaos unfolds around you. That's for the train insults, Mooch. Let's see if you can pass round two, kid. Uh, what? How you dodge this attack? Oh, I guess you just need to be above it. Just enough. And then go underneath it. Okay, we'll stay steady. Nice attack, Edward. You're doing a good job as well, Clover. Ready for this? Don't move. Move. No, don't move. Don't move. 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 Don't move. Uh, let's just stay steady. Now, now, quit holding back, everyone. Use your trump cards. Whew, 
Woo. Okay. Okay. Not so bad. My turn. My turn. Ooh, we got to be a little exact on that. Uh, I guess we just got to keep holding steady. Mario, right, let's team up for an attack. Oh, I would be honored. Ooh. Ah, the hand comes back and it still hits me. How do I dodge that one? For a bickering? Well, I'm going to drink a little bit of water. Actually, I'm going to suck on my hot pop. Is the distinct flavor of something that was once hot. Ah, <sighs> mooch. Of course I'll help you, Ace. Don't be so kind next time. Coins. And, uh... Oh, God, that's a really hard attack to not get hit by. Where he sharpens the blade. Uh, I guess I'll just keep holding steady. We ain't done yet. You're ready for my strongest attack. Hey! Oh man. What in the actual gosh darn tarnation has happened here? We felt your training was lackluster. So we gave Clover a real challenge. I'm disappointed in you four. Eight weeks of lessons for this. I ought to lock you away with feathers. Star, what's going on? You've been... different. A real meanie. It's true, this hasn't been for any fun. What are y'all blabbering about? This is the most allowed this town has ever been. Why does everything have to be in a spectacle then? I miss the old North Star, the fearless leader, the monster who can make their own fun in the little things. This new star is selfish and reckless. Or should I call you by your real name? Should I? Starlo, why you? What's with all the shouting? What's happening? Seems my posse don't respect me no more. It's not that. We just want you to take it down a notch. You can't just throw us around for this human business. That isn't what friends do, Star. I know what all this is about. Y'all are just full of envy, overflowing with it. Clover shot circles round you, and you just can't accept it. Clover has nothing to do with this. It's you. No, Star's totally right. Clover's super skilled at everything. In fact, I think they can carry the whole squad on their own. Who needs us when you got powerhouse deputy? What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm done. I resigned from the Feisty Five, okay? Really now? It'll still be the Fasty Five without you, so go ahead. I, I, I'm leaving too. I don't want to work under a big-headed sheriff. Seems like life dealt you a bad hand, Star. I'm following them. Sorry, Star. Please work on yourself. Forgiveness is only one apology away. Fine, I was considering firing y'all anyway. Throba, you understand, right? They're just being ridiculous. Starlo, they're right. You have changed a lot from the monster I once knew. I tried to brush it off as you having fun at first, but this wild east thing has damaged your personality. I want to see the real Starlo. That's North Star to you. Well, everyone is gone. I got no posse, no friends. I, I need to think. I can fix this. I was afraid things would escalate. Nothing you're not fully used to by now. This is probably a good time to get out of here. It's all gone way too far, don't you think? Whatever happens, I wish you luck, Clover. It's interesting, because obviously I have to watch back the episode whenever I edit it, but North Star was 
the name that was associated with the rock droppers that were made in uh, either Hotland or Steamworks is the name of two places that come up. Hot Hotland is already a place that we know, but we haven't been to a Steamworks yet. So if North Star's name is originally Snar Starlo, I wonder if they're trying to hide something by not being called Starlo anymore. What's this? An old necklace discarded in the sand. Looks expensive. Take it? Yeah. You got the necklace. Uh, what is... Is the necklace good? Broken but dazzling necklace. Can't be worn but could be worth something. I'm gonna hold on to it. Oh, what is this up here? Howdy! I was hoping Starlow ran to his parents or something. Looks like you'll have to confront him. Do what you do best. I'm always rooting for you. Are we gonna have to, to fight North Star now slash Starlow? Also, this is like ruins type area. Is this where the ruins meet the actual ruins? Like where Asgore lives? Why did this happen? I did everything in my power to entertain. So monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. At every turn I tried to tear Saroba up. I just wanted to not go off of her mind. I'm trying my best to honor her memory. Are distractions what's best for all that? You... Why'd you follow me? Are you still my friend? Hold on. This all happened after you showed up. That specifically mentioned you as the problem. That's right. I was just being a good friend. I made you who you are and yet this is what I get. Let's face facts. I couldn't keep you here forever, kid. Word would have gotten out that Feathers hadn't clocked in eventually. Feathers. Wait a minute. Rogue guards like her have a ton of status. They gain that status by doing the king's work. I'm sure, I'm sure everyone would come back if I did the same. I'd be revered not only in the Wild East, but in the entire underground. I'd... Clover. You've been an excellent deputy, but as a lawman, what I'm about to do is embedded in my soul, my true duty. Don't, don't make this difficult for me. Just hold still. Oh, my soul changed. Oh, I'm lassoed in place. I know I'm better than this. A dignified sheriff would face their opponent fairly. However, you're no everyday bandit, so get ready. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, let's act on Starlo, and I guess we're gonna bite. You chomp and pull at the lasso, but it only gets tighter. Huh, even tied up, you're skilled. I sure have enough talent. Ooh, okay. This is like an actual fight. Uh, let's just gotta keep biting the rope. Still, part of me wishes things could have stayed the way they were. I gotta use my observation hockey. Why'd you have to step foot in my town? Just a few hours ago, everyone's getting along. Now, well, we're here. Oh, the dynamite explodes. Oh, the dynamite explodes in a big way. Alright, this is what we have the ice waters for. Definitely has a taste, but you can't describe it. Covered 15 HP. It's the only way to fix things. The only way I know. Oh, I don't know if I want to be in the inside of the horseshoe or the outside of the horseshoe. Uh, just gotta keep biting the rope. Gotta escape. Oh, here comes the dynamite. Ooh. Okay, stand up here. I made it so that I can do mostly, jo mostly dodge that attack. Quit squirming so much! Oh, move. Don't move. Move. Okay. Clover, you gotta understand. Oh, he's breaking the bottles. Uh, I gotta drink me more of that ice water. Come on, give it up already. Man, 
Man, those trains are brutal. I mean, I didn't get hit, but that's an entire train, man. The tumbleweed rolls by. It says hello. I guess I like I like wave back to the tumbleweed as like the lasso pulls me in another direction. Uh, can we just struggle this time? You squirm inside your leather cage to no avail. Fine, I didn't want to use this, but I got no choice. Goodbye, partner. Why are you shooting me? Stay still! I don't want to hit my lasso. Oh. We have a plan now. Took a little damage off the lasso. Look what you made me do! That lasso is made from premium materials. Oh, I'm free now! I'm free! I might get lassoed again, but... No! No way! How smart about a deputy? <laughs> At least it's a fair showdown now. Time for a real duel. Duel! Uh... Focus. Take a deep breath to prepare for the next attack. I'm gonna miss our town together. I mean that. Okay, we can take we can take one more attack before I need to heal with another ice water. First, I was truly happy. I thought you were the real deal. Move. Ah, I couldn't take the attack. It was too complex for my small brain. Okay, I'm back to the point where the lasso gets broken off, but I only had to use one healing item to get this far. Uh, I'm just gonna use my root cake preemptively in order to be full health for whatever this next attack is, so that I can maybe take it. Alright, let's do a little spin. Okay, I survived that attack that time. That is a really hard combo attack, because I need to not move in the blue, but then I'm going to get shot anyways, and I freak out. Oh, let's just drink down the ice water. All my sacrifices, all my naysayers, those didn't matter anymore, because what I had was special. Oh, we're like super sl slow? Okay, Starla tries to tape his lasso back, but he can't find the end of the tape on his roll. Let's... Let's spin. Spin your six shooter several times to intimidate Starlo. Now you've realized the truth. The share stuff, it's worthless. Shooting the dynamite. I think I'm gonna risk going into this with 11 health. We all tout justice, but true underground status is only secured through pain. Monster Khan's hero is a title soaked in blood. Oh, 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 no! Oh, okay. God, the slow motion ones really kill me because I think I'm way faster, but I actually have to just respond with, like, spider senses pretty much. I'm gonna use all my healing items, but I at least have a way to get money. In the end, we're nothing but bandits. Ooh. Whoa, that was, that was crazy. One. I have one left in my chamber. I'll make this count. Starla's left hand is shaking. I surrender. You lower your weapon and raise your hands. What? What are you doing? This ain't fair. Starlo! Stop this right now! That's the Roba. Who have you become? Because this sure as hell isn't the Starlow I grew up with. Saroba. Now's not a good time for this. Don't kick me while I'm down, please. Um, I'm sorry, Star. I know this is weighing heavily on you, but listen. None of us hate you. The real you. We adore you. What we hate is this false, reckless persona you've created. I have my own baggage. We all do. I don't even know if I have room to say this, but... Bring him back. Bring back the innocent farmer I once knew. I just... want to be appreciated. 
revered by everyone. I was trying to provide a slice of the surface where we have none. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not even telling you to quit running the town. Just don't let this identity consume you. It isn't healthy. Very well. Clover, I'm terribly sorry for attacking you. I do value your friendship and the time we've spent together. You have every right to make fun, but... This is who I really am. I'm not a real sheriff. Just some nobody farmer. Don't say that, Star. You may not be a real sheriff, but... You're the best sheriff I've ever known. Yeah. I suppose I am kinda cool. Darn right. But... This whole show wasn't only for some personal power trip. Hmm? I also did to cheer you up. You might have wanted the old me, but I also wanted the old you. Because of... Kanako. I, um, appreciate that, Star. I... Uh, I believe I have business to take care of relating to her. What do you mean? I must tell you something. I suppose Clover should know as well. As much fun as it is to have duels and catch bandits. There's a pressing matter looming over me. Let's go to the old Steamworks gate. We'll speak there. Saroba. Come on. I guess you're really part of the team now, Clover. You heard her. Clover! Clover! So I have good news and bad news. I'll start with the good news. Turns out, the wife of that old friend and I I told you about is here. Her name is Saroba. You probably met her already now that I think about it. She broke my cell lock with a single magic staff and let me go. I also made sure she knew I wouldn't tell Asgore about this. So now that that's taken care of, the bad news. I'm about to go back on my words, sadly. I know I just said I wouldn't leave your side, but then, you know, this crazy detour happened. I also realized I threw my job to the wind to travel with you, but since the imprisonment took up so much time, I have to go back. If I don't at least clock in, the Royal Guard will grow suspicious. Plus, Ava is totaled. It was their property. I'll only be gone for a moment to fix my mistakes. Zoroba encouraged this decision, so don't worry. She told me she would accompany you on the journey to Hotland. So hey, it all works out. Again, I'm so, so, so sorry about this, but I'll see you later. So, Steamworks is in Hotland is what I'm picking out. Or it's another part of Hotland? I'm not entirely sure. Flowey, what have you got to say? Howdy! You're becoming a pro at this, buddy. At this rate, you'll be able to confront Asgore himself. Hey, so this video ended up going a little long. Um, so I've decided that I'm gonna cut it off here. There's only like 10 extra minutes, but I think I'm gonna make those 10 extra minutes uh, the start of episode 5. So, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, maybe consider leaving a like on the video and even consider subscribing because both of those things would help me out an absolute ton. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much.